by the grace of Christ let us go to 2 Kings chapter 5 2 Kings chapter 5 2 Kings chapter 5 by the grace of Christ now Naaman commander of the arm of the king of Syria was a great and honorable man in the eyes of his master because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria he was also a mighty man of valor but a leper and the Syrians had gone out on raids and brought back captive a young girl from the land of Israel she waited on Naaman's wife then she said to her mistress if only my master were with a prophet who is in Samaria for you would heal him of his leprosy and then man they went in and told his master saying thus it thus says the girl who is from the land of Israel and the king of Israel the king of Syria said go now and I will send a letter to the king of Israel so he, he departed and took with him ten talents of silver, six thousand shekels of gold, and ten changes of clothing. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, which said, Now be advised, when this letter comes to you, they have sent Naaman, my servant, to you, that you may heal him of his leprosy. And it happened when the king of Israel read the letter that he tore his clothes I read the letter that he tore his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and make alive that this man sends a man to me to heal him of his leprosy? Therefore, please consider and see how he seeks to quarrel with me. So it was when Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, Why have you torn your clothes? Please let him come to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. Then Naaman went with, with his horses and chariot. He stood at the door of Elisha's house. And Elisha sent a messenger to him, saying, Go wash the Jordan seven times. Your flesh shall be restored to you. shall be clean. But Naaman became furious and went away. And so indeed I said to myself, How surely come out to me and stand and call in the name of the Lord his God and wave his hand over this place and heal the leprosy? Are none the Ibana and the far part of the rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel could I not wash in them and be clean so he turned and went away in a rage and his servants came near and spoke to him and said my father if the prophet had told you to do something great would you not have done it How much more when he says to you, Wash and be clean? So he went down and dipped seven times in the Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh was restored like the flesh of the little child, and he was clean. And he returned to the man of God, and he and all his aides that came and stood before him, and he said, Indeed, now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Now, therefore, please take a gift from your servant. But he said, As the Lord lives before whom I stand, I will receive nothing. And he urged him to take it, but he refused. So Naaman said, Then if not, please let your servant be given two mule loads of earth. For your servant will no longer offer a burnt offering or sacrifice to other gods, but to the Lord. And this thing may the Lord pardon your servant. When my master goes to the temple of Ramon, the worship there, he leans on my hand, and I bow down in the temple of Raymon. When I bow down the temple of Raymon, may the Lord please pardon your servant in this thing. Amen.
It is red. With us, Sarnati. Oh, that's written in the Old Testament from God through the Holy Spirit, through prophets. with the power of the Holy Spirit the fact that God wanted to teach his church he wrote the prophetic word as we As we were writing the Holy Spirit, as we are studying the Old Testament, we need to discern and have patience to discern the, w the will of God and the work of God and to be equipped for a personal life and also for a family life too. It is very serious, dear brethren. What's written for a Syrian who didn't know anything about God or for his false gods or for his uh, foreign gods but God chose them so that the Lord Jesus Christ years later centuries later by bringing an example into us today And when Elisha, in, during his uh, lifetime, even though there were many lepers, only one was healed. That was Naaman the leper. That means, brethren, every human being were, has ch a chance. God gives chances. To reveal himself to people so that people will know to the Word of God to know one Trinitarian God that is unique the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit the Trinity that's of one essence and undivided but not in theory but knowing the personality of God the love of God the Father what does it mean? what does it mean that the God the Father the God the Father loves to know that a human being has a chance for the grace of Christ That the Lord, the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ gives grace to know, have the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Heavenly Father who loved the world. He did not spare His Son, but He sent Him to become a curse, the sinless, holy Son of God. That's how much He loved man and woman. Because if not his only become son had not become a curse on the cross of Calvary, no man would have been saved. No one would have been able to understand what does it mean wisdom from above. Like he's saying his only son Jesus Christ to die. The absolutely sinful man and the one who is distant born from God, he calls on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to save him, to change everything, to save him from everything, for all the petitions and issues that he's facing, from spiritual, from the enemy of God and man, Satan and the demons and the earthly ones from all nations that are 
been dealt with the most important accepting the uh, the Jesus and as reign the son of the living God they receive authority by God to be the only to become a son of God and it's amazing shockingly amazingly uh, favor of God to receive the honor to be called this child of God uh, I for example I used to have ch uh, I had children that they used to call up all oh, their dad because because within man there is endemic the love the paternal love how much more the heavenly father's love we experience through the Lord Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit so the Word of God being and being genuinely true and non falsified presents two persons one is a general Naaman prospered by God by favor and grace of God no relationship with God it's written and the scriptures cannot be divided is it is belongs though to God to discern in all people and all the tribes of people of God in Israel and of the churches to do only the Lord can do this to discern in detail the heart of a person or every person and what's happening when the people of God and the church of God of God in detail and he acts appropriately so it's proven as the Word of God reveals to us a man n whose name is named in the Syrian I could uh, could confess there is no other God but only the true genuine God of all the powers and hosts the one who was worshiping idols and thus he prospered him and raised him up and it is to bring him close together and this way is painful especially especially in the case of Nehemiah this is called leprosy that was a horrible disease of that time but he also needs to find the tool to use because God uses people in order to perform his will and work and fulfill his promises and he found a little girl an Israelite woman with faith in her heart And Naaman was somebody whom God had foreordained and foreknown, and likewise with a little girl under any circumstances. And afflictions came to both the leprosy to one and captivity to the little girl. The faithful and holy girl is the one who has been kept, was captive. It's attention. God God has good counsel for every person God has good counsels for everyone who accepts Christ and so the foreigner uh, distant from the things of God and blessed girl the meeting one in her captivity and one in his misery
without hope of liberty. It's a horrible disease. One glorious. One is distant. And the other one alone in captivity. Her misery. Special characteristics in the heart. And so, he has not understood. Yeah, but before the foundation of the world, the will of God is is progressing. And the little girl is saying to Naaman, see Naaman, and Naaman, his name means lovable, dear, a, a pleasant man. And she experienced from up close her boss, Naaman, she expressed if he was in the land of Israel, then the Lord, the Lord would heal him. And her mistress, actually her, she believed in, she hoped in fact. Do you think, do you think there is such God? Do you think there is a problem to there's a solution to the problem of my husband that loved him and she rushed to her husband this is what what the Israelite woman there is a God in Israel that nothing is impossible to him amen amen and nothing is impossible to him And now the the plan of God unfolds the heart of Naaman because God found a suitable person to do his will. I don't know if Naaman I don't know if he believed, but at least he hoped. Do you think there is a chance? Do you think there is a We have many gods here in Syria. We're worshiping many gods. If there is a God, now there is no. Do you think there's a God? There's nothing is impossible. And as Naaman went to his king, when and told his master, thus and thus said the girl who is from the land of Israel. So he got a lot of gifts and treasures, gold and chains of clothing. Then he went to meet the prophet of the Lord. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel. But the king of Israel, he is not a sheep of the Lord. My sheep hear my voice and then follow me. And the sheep are saying, The Lord is my shepherd and I will not lack anything. And there's a shock in the village. A good shepherd and a good sheep. But the king, the king of Israel, even though he's an Israel, he has understood that there is an almighty God, all good, that he loves man. I'm not going to tell you why the Lord, why the king sent him to me. And, <clears throat> and during that time in Israel, it was an absolute apostasy and had fallen away from the will of God. They, they had priests. They had they had altars, but they were now 
obeying the true God. And they didn't have the truth of God. And as a result, they were not worshiping the real God. But where sin was abundant, the grace of God was overabundant. And as Elisha heard, he asked to be sent for the man, for Naaman, to go to him. And they made it all the way to the house of Elisha, along with all the assembly of Naaman from Syria. Elisha did something that showed, I would say, it was contempt. He didn't went, didn't go to meet Naaman. He showed contempt. But that's not true, though. But whatever Elisha is doing, he's doing it by the direction of the Holy Spirit. God is leading, leading him. He sent a messenger to him saying, Go and wash the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored to you and shall be clean. And Naaman listened. And what he, did he understand? First, he perceived contempt. I thought the prophet would come on. He will call upon the name of the Lord. He will, will lay his hands on me. And the diseased person will be healed. And what was the second thing that he thought? That the Jordan was going to be washed. That if he gets to be washed in the river of Jordan, he will be washed from all his lepers. But Elisha told him, though, instead that the Lord, his God, was going to heal him. If he obeys his word, the Jordan River does not heal, not the little icons. The Lord is the one who heals those who obey his word. But Naaman became furious because he's a man. He's like us. Couldn't have gone to my own. Couldn't have gone to my own rivers, to Syria. And in anger, he decided to leave. We thank the Lord because people love him. It's very important for people to love you who are close to you. If they don't love you, it's not your fault. It's, it's, not the, it's your fault. You're not lovable. Because love is not demanded, but it can only be won over. Because the Lord Jesus Christ loved us by offering Himself. And He's calling us to His love. He's inviting us to experience His love. So, the servants of Naaman, because He's lovable, they said, Not a master. Or our father. If the prophet had told you to do something great, would you not have done it? How much more then, when he says to you, wash it, be clean? Why don't you try it? Another nice characteristic of Naaman was that he humbled himself and he believed in those words. How did, how did he humble himself? Himself by listening to the voice of his servants. He didn't say, Screw you, uh, your servants, I'm your master. Will I listen to you? He didn't think of them. But he listened to the words of God. He said, you're right. He went. He went down and dipped seven times in Jordan according to the saying of the man of God. Who healed him? Not Jordan. The Lord restored his flesh because he obeyed the voices of the Lord something even better he listened to the voice of the servant of God who is serving God well, thus the word of God says present your body a living sacrifice holy pleasing and that's your reasonable act of worship what does Apostle Paul says we don't commend ourselves we commend the Lord Jesus Christ not ourselves 
And we, a servant of, or your servants, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and being set free from sin, we became servants to the Word of God. And only then, your fruit will be to your holiness. And the end of your of your life, internal life. God calls sinners to set them free. And then he calls captive to set them free. But to a special bondage, he sets them free again to bondage, but to a special bondage and within the presence of God. Naaman returned. Elisha receives him now in glory of God. Couldn't have you communicated directly to Naaman, Elisha? No, because Naaman's heart needed to change because he believed that he was a general and he may be ordering around his people. He needs to understand. He needs to become a believer, not a general, not a historian. Not through strength and not through, but through my spirit. And Nehemiah confessed, I know by experience. Let me tell you something, brother. This is how you know God by experience, through your own experience. No by listening to other people ex and by having other people rule you and I commanded you if you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ then the Lord Jesus Christ will save you the Father will regenerate you the Lord Jesus Christ will baptize the Holy Spirit of personal experience No, I know. I went and dipped myself seven times the river of Jerusalem. I mean, man, well, was was baptized in the river Jordan, and he had no longer leprosy. And I know now, as Naaman would say, I know this is a real God who says something. And it happens, it gets fulfilled, his word, people's lives. And now decided to deci decided from now on to worship the only real God. And thus I will receive dirt in the land of Israel. In order to offer with my sacrifice. And when my master goes to the temple of Raymond to worship there. I ask for, for the Lord to forgive me. And, and Elisha said something that was very wise. He didn't say to him, neither yes nor no. Elisha is not a teacher, but Christ is a teacher. Only Christ may teach and lead a person to the absolute truth. What is man? A man is a servant of God, the church. This is very important. Aren't you going to say what he needs to do? No, God is going to tell him what he needs to do. And then man left. But his word, his name, is written in the word, in the book of life. And this is a very important example to imitate. The Christ through name is teaching us what? Don't look at the problem of your leprosy look of your Lord who is going to set you free from your problem don't look at the problem 
There is a living God, Almighty, who is able to do everything. Where nothing is in. No, it doesn't matter if you don't know anything or not much. God is ready to heal you, to set you free, to bless you, and to grant you what follows. And then, Amen.